Okay, here's the product or the project we're going to work on today. Uh, this is called uh, Treehouse in the Woods. And these are the stamps that were used. This is the from the Na Stampscapes Nature Set 16. The fence is Stampscapes 289D. The tree that we have for the foreground is Stampscapes from the Nature Set number six. The little puppy is from Making a Scene. It's Lone Puppy T4-110A. The grass is from Making a Scene. The grass short from M1-026B. The tree house is from Making a Scene T7-157H. And the little grass is from Art Impressions. It's from the Art Impressions Foliage Set 4051. And uh, here's the different inks and markers that were used and some of the other different supplies. If you need to, you can pause the video to look over at this. I'll try and remember also to put it in the comments of uh, the YouTube video. Okay, I stamped out a practice session here so that I can get uh, the placement of the stamps where I want them to be. And I'm using my Stampin' Up stamp positioner. I like it because it's got uh, two sides. Uh, it can fold in this way. It can fold in this way. And then you can remove the sides and turn them around. So you can actually have four different sides with uh, what you've got to stamp. And so in this particular case, uh, I'm using three of the sides to stamp all of the major stamps in this piece. So I'm going to start by stamping the little dog right here and I'll also do the fence. I've uh, put some little spacers here, three quarters of an inch here and an inch and a half there so that I'm not butt up in the corner and yet I can get myself repositioned. Okay, and I've made a little mask for the dog. Just out of some post-it note. Then I'm going to turn this side around so that I can stamp the little tree house and dog house. Alright, now I'm going to stamp the little cottage up here. And so I'm going to ink this up. The cottage is on this one. Okay, finished with the positioner for right now. Okay, let's see, we'll zoom in a little bit here. And go ahead and remove the mask. And then I'm going to use the small grass from Making a Scene. Now I'm going to use my small grass from Art Impressions. Okay, now I'm going to let this ink dry really well for a while before I start to color it. Okay, I'm going to use a color box stylus to put some color on for the sky. And I'm going to start with my lightest color. I'm going to use some Stampin' Up. Uh, this is Soft Sky. And then Pool Party.
and Marina Mist and Island Indigo. And I'm just going to tap my stylus. I'm going to want to have the light focusing on the puppy and so I, in the sky I want to make sure that I'm going to leave this part here the lightest and so I'm going to go now with my next color which is the Marina Mist okay now I'm going to do the darkest the Island Indigo and I'm just going to do the edges and the top Okay, now I'm going to use my Tim Holtz blending brush and then I'm going to use some Stamping Up Soft Suede and I'm just going to touch my brush directly. This is a brush that I have that I keep just for brown Stampin' Up inks and I'm just going to put a light dusting of the brown down here in the ground Okay, now I'm going to use my green blending brush and I'm going to start putting on some green color. I'm going to start with some Stamping Up Lemon Line Twist. Okay, next I'm going to use some Wild Wasabi. Okay, next some Old Olive. Okay, and then finally some Garden Green. Okay, and I'm going to use the Garden Green again. I'm going to use my Art Impressions Small Grass. And I'll use the Old Olive with the Making a Scene Small Grass. I'm going to use my Art Impressions Small Grass and the Old Olive. Okay, I'm going to use some Copic markers to color the dog. I'm going to use W1, W3, and W6. Okay, I'm going to use a black Marvy Le Plume 2 pen. I'm going to use uh, the brush tip. And I am just going to color in its nose here and also its eyes. Okay, I'm going to use a white gel pen. And I'm just going to add a little white dot to the eyes here. And maybe color in, make some highlights. Okay, for the little dog house here, I'm going to use E31, E34, E37, and E39. Okay, I'm going to use the same colors for the tree house. Okay, for the roofs, I'm going to use E55, E57, and E59. Okay, I'm going to use these same colors for the roof of the cabin. Okay, for the cabin, I'm going to use E31, 34, 37, and E39. Okay, for the door, I'm going to use 
Y26, and also the trim around the windows. Okay, for the pine trees, I'm going to use G24 and G28. Okay, I want to blacken up the puppy a little bit, so I'm going to use uh, some Copic Marker 100. Okay, I'm going to use a colorless blender. Okay, for the tree trunk, I'm going to use E59, E57, and E55. Okay, and to make the treehouse and the doghouse a little bit different, I'm going to add some Y26 to it. Okay, for the rope, I'm going to use some W6. Okay, I'm going to use some... Marvelly Plume 2, number 15, olive green. Okay, I'm going to use Marvelly Plume 2, number 45, sepia. And I am going to I'm going to use some C5 to put a shadow under the dog. Now I'm going to use a white gel pen to just put some highlights in. Okay, and I want to bring the leaves of the tree down a little bit, so I'm going to be using uh, the G24 and also G28. All right, I'm going to use my stamp positioner to stamp in some foreground trees here. So I'm going to use my positioner again. And I want to make sure the tree is straight up and down. So I'll use the grid lines to mark it. Okay, and I will use my Stamping Up Old Olive. I'm going to clean off my stamp and I'm going to put this back in again but up in the corner Oops. <laughs> take that off and this time I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black Okay, now I want to put some foreground trees here, so I'm going to put it upside down so that I can position and I will use
Okay, the last thing I want to do is I'm going to use my Copic 0.3 multi-liner and I am going to sign and date it. And this is February 2019. Okay, the last thing I want to do is I want to spray this and protect it. I'm going to use some Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. I'm going to spray this outside because I don't want to spray it inside the house. And it's raining right now, so I'm going to wait until the rain lets up a bit. Uh, and then uh, we'll come back with the final product. Okay, and here's the final result after it's been sprayed, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.